Okay, everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up assistive touch or basically a pointer. A pointer can be incredibly useful if you're setting up a presentation, maybe you want to present something at work, uh, you want to present your material in a very interesting and decent and neat way, or maybe you want to record your screen and you want to be very specific about what you're talking about. Perhaps many people use assistive touch to teach other people who may be not so uh, proficient with the screen. So there are multiple uses for pointer as a feature, but it is a little bit difficult to get it to work. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Well, the first thing you got to do is, first thing you got to do is, First, you want to go on settings. So let's go on settings. Underneath settings, you want to go all the way down until you've got accessibility or gestures. So accessibility is usually under home screen and dock. So you want to go on accessibility. And then you want to go on touch. After you're on touch, don't mind all these uh, features. You want to go on assistive touch. Now, as you can see, mine is already on because obviously I want to use it to teach you guys how the tutorial works. So make sure that it's on either from the previous menu or here. So you want to turn this on and then you want to move down all the way to create new gesture. Then you want to tap on that. Now, very, very simply, to create a new gesture, you just tap on the middle of the screen. Okay, that's it. And then you save it as good, whatever name you like, it really doesn't matter. Good gesture. Okay. Now that you've got it saved up, you'll get this little square, the black square right here, so you can put it anywhere on your screen. And then in order to access the gesture, you want to tap on the square, and then you want to go to custom, and then you pick the name of the gesture that you just created. In our case, it's a good gesture. And then as you can see, you have the touch. See, you can go anywhere you like. So that is how you create a pointer on iPad or iOS. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please make sure to click thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out similar videos like this if you're interested, and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. I will see you later. Bye-bye!